everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my weekly makeup basket for my basket babes. And before I get into my weekly makeup basket, I wanna share something with you that was just recently sent to me from a subscriber and also a fellow Etsy shop owner. I'm just, I'm like blown away. Um, <laughs> you guys know how much I love fragrance and scents and stuff like that. And um, I am not a wax melt person per se. I'm kind of new to the whole wax melt thing, but I know my scents and I love, I like anything that smells good. And Judy, who has, like I said, an Etsy shop, she has her own website. She's she's also into, um, very much into nail polishes. I'm gonna link her um, Instagram down below and I'm also gonna link her shops down below. But she sent me some wax melts because that's her business. Um, and I, I can't even tell you how good these things smell. And of course, you know, I'm always one that will promote a small business. I, I'm like into the anti-consumerism thing and I'm all about supporting local and I'm about supporting small businesses. I, I'm like struggling to get this thing opened. Um, I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna show it to you. This is the way they come packaged. Her shop is Adored Colors. I, I just wanna smell this again. I had it opened and I just, I wanna smell it again. It is. It is so yummy. I wish this was Smell-O-Vision because, oh my God, does this smell good. And in honor of my son, I got the Dinosaur Museum um, scent, which is kind of for me too, because it's got two of my favorite scents together. I never would have thought to pair them together, but um, it is grapefruit and mint. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> this stuff smells amazing. And um. That was the one that she like I picked out for her to send to me, but she also sent me some extras, which is really stinking cool. Um, she sent Love Potion. It's Peach Nectar. Look at the cute little hearts. How adorable are those? And it is, oh my God, it is yummy. It, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's, it's kind of like fresh peach meets candy. I, I mean, like you can almost smell like the fuzz on the peach. I know that sounds really weird, but it, it's not like real fake smelling, which I absolutely love. It is, it is divine. And then she also sent me like a little thank you sample, which like this whole thing is just amazing. And this one is Citron and Mandarin. She really, um, she goes all out and everything was packaged in bubble wrap. So it was completely safe and nothing got crushed or anything like that. Look at this. Look at how cute these are. And they're like a nice size. Oh my God, that smells good. <laughs> I like anything citrusy. Like, well, I really like anything fruity, but citrusy, it's right up my alley. So anyway, I am going to link Judy's information down below. Like I said, she does have an Instagram, has all sorts of um, like beautiful nail looks and stuff like that. So she is in the beauty world, in the beauty community. So I think if you follow me, you will definitely enjoy her stuff as well. Plus, Plus she's got her own small business and I, I'm all about small businesses. I am a small business owner. So I definitely want, um, you know, to promote and support other small businesses. All right, now let's get in to the makeup basket because um, I, I'm at that turning point. <laughs> like I still kind of want to play, but I'm, even though January is not completely finished yet, I'm, I'm ready to start um, really delving into certain things and I will narrow my focus even more in February, but I'm already starting to um, to narrow in what I really want to work on. So let's get into it. First and foremost, of course, is my primer. Look, it's it's getting less and less, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I've noticed this one's a lot smaller than the Catrice one, and it's a lot thicker, so it seems to go faster. I, I feel like I need to um, use more because um, it just it goes on thicker. I don't know. So that's my primer, of course. Like like that was even a question. Um, for foundation, I'm sticking with the LA Girl Pro Matte because it is super light on me. And um, if there was a time to use it, it is now because I'm at the lightest I'm probably gonna be all year long and um, and it's still too light. So I just, I wanna get this done. And if and when I repurchase that, it will definitely be a darker color. All right, moving on to um, concealer. I have my lavender color corrector from NYX that I'm gonna be working on. Powder is um, still sticking with whatever little bit is left of the NYX color correcting powder in green that of course I frankened. I think this one's gonna be done this week. I really do. There is, there's not a lot left in there. So 
Um, if I finish that one, I will roll in something else, most likely. Um, okay, I might as well just pull it out now. The Essence All About Matte, that's the one that I will probably pull in when that NYX is done, which um, it should be done this week. All right, what else do I have here that I need to show you in this drawer? Um, oh, I do have another color corrector in green, you know, in case uh, I get a little bit of redness like in this area. And because um, I have super sensitive skin, so I do carry some red in here. And then every now and again, you know, a girl gets a, a red spot here or there. So, you know, gotta, gotta protect that face. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? That is eyes, that is eyes. All right, um, moving on to, let's get the lip products out of the way because, well, they're right here. Um, two of them I'm wearing on my lips today. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. I don't even know what color it is. Um, <laughs> I actually really like the color. I will have to look it up and see what it is. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of grayish. I know that's, it's a weird word, but, um, it's like a, a gr beige gray kind of color. I don't know how to explain it. Grayish. It's grayish. And, um, I do really love the color. <clears throat> don't love with what my voice is doing, but it's just, oh my God, drying. It was the first time I'd ever used it. So I just actually put it on a bare lip. No, no, no. It's going to need lip balm or something underneath. It is, oh my God, dry. Um, and then for my lip gloss, I'm going to be working with Jill. I actually have it over top of that, um, that lip stain from Sephora just because I can't handle that dryness. For my lip balm, I'm going to work on the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker Fix. And I'm going to be working on this Revlon Timeliner in Very Mauve because, you know, because I am kind of narrowing my focus down to this lip balm, this lip liner, and this lip gloss. I will add other things in, but those are my primary focus. Um, okay, where to now? Uh, let's get let's get the uh, this thing out of the way. Um, I haven't fully narrowed my focus on lip or on lip on eyeliners, but um, we will get there. Let's get the mascaras out of the way because they're big and bulky. These. These two mascaras are the only ones that I'm going to be working on right now. This is the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara in Blue You Mind. For when I'm feeling a little funky and I want some blue in my eyes. It's not eyeshadow. It's it's mascara, so it's okay. And then, of course, the Essence Slash Princess Volume Mascara. I'm just going to use that one until, until she's done. I have two brow products that I'm working on right now. This is the dreaded Revlon Colorstay Mousse. I believe it's soft brown. I don't love it, but I am pairing it with this Essence Lash and Brow Mascara, which is why this clear doesn't look so clear anymore. And um, I'm actually making it work with both of these because this kind of like pills up, which is, ugh, it's not my, it's not my thing. I like the color. I, I just, no, it's got to go. Um, and this kind of like tames down that pilling and, you know, it, it works, it works together. Um, I am, for my top, we're going to be working on um, the Urban Decay by Special Effects. I, I've had this in um, my basket like the last two weeks and I just haven't used it. So I'm just going to kind of keep it in the basket for those days when I feel like, oh yeah, let's do some sparkly eyes. But um, I really need to get on that, but it's not a focus for me right now. All right, my one focus eyeliner is definitely going to be the Clinique Quick Liner in Intense Ebony. Um, I would like to have this done probably in the next mm, month or two, maybe three. So we'll say three months because the year just started, Jess. Relax. It's going to be okay. Um, so yeah, I want to have this done in the next three months because I have a lot of other eyeliners that I'm working on. So that is going to be a focus for me. Um, the Starlux Gem Pencil and Ultra Olive. I only need to get to 20 uses. I, I've only got like maybe a handful of uses on this so far. So I really want to focus on this one in the next week. Though now that I think about it, I don't think I put any greens in my eyeshadows. I probably shouldn't have put it in this week. Oh, well. Um, it, what's done is done. Let's just, just move on. I have two of the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liners. I think it is Puppy and Prance. I think this one's Puppy and this one's Prance. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be working on those. Let me get those moved out of the way. I got so much stuff here on the desk. All right. Let's get into... Let's get into, oh, let's just, you know, setting spray. Of course, it's going to be the Ulta until it's done. Eye stuff. 
I have my Be A Bombshell, brain, brain Jessica, Be A Bombshell Submissive Eye Base. I'm going to be working on that. I have two cream eyeliners, or eyeliners, eyeshadows. I really should just give up on this day. Eyeshadows that I'm working on. It's my DIY, like that violet, ultraviolet, I think is what it is. Something like that um, cream eyeshadow. And then, of course, the white gold from City Color, that eye mousse. I have Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy and Bare Minerals Moonlit. Yes, Moonlit. That will get pressed. I just didn't have a chance to press it before um, I did this makeup basket. And it's going to get pressed into this. Um, I have two eyeshadows that are slightly frankened in here that I want to work on. Um, they were from my Coastal Sense 88 palette. It was just so big and bulky, and I was never reaching for it because it's so big. So I've decided, like, whatever focus shadows um, from that palette, I'm just going to press them into here, and, you know, when my focus shadows from there are done, then I'll press something else into here. So um, Moonlit is going to end up getting pressed into there. All right, moving that off to the side. Palettes are minimal this week. No Coastal Sense 88 palette, no Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette. It's minimal. I, of course, have to have my Pan That palette. This is BH Cosmetics, the Carly Bible Original palette. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving it. That's mostly what I have on my eyes today. And it's mostly what I have on my eyes every day. Um, I just, I'm loving it. And when I get to the update, just, just wait, just wait. You can tell I've been using it a lot. All right. My magnetic palette, I have all sorts of things in here. I have my Franken bronzer right here, a potted lipstick. Um, I really want to focus on those. Of course, the um, cream concealer, words, just words. I want to get um, some more work on that. This, I finally pressed Bare Minerals Blue Moon. It is right there. This is the, um, the teal color from the be a Bombshell Bora Bora Quad. I've got my three Sephora Colorista shadows right there. Two different ones from Coastal Scents. And this is not from Coastal Scents. I actually just pressed this. This is a Bare Minerals shadow. I believe this is Sangria. And um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some fun playing with that. So even though it's fairly neutral, um, it's, um, it's going to complement what I'm working on with the BH Cosmetics Curly Bible Palette. All right, now that is my actual makeup basket. I do have some things here for my 365 days of eyeshadows and lippies. I just wanna let you know what I am gonna be working on this week. Um, in this Elf Baked Eyeshadow Palette, this is the Seattle Palette. I have four shades that I still need to work on. It is the three in the middle on the top row and then this one in the bottom row. I'm a little ahead on my eyeshadows, which is kind of cool, so you know, I'm happy about that. And let's see, I have these three are also in 365 days of eyeshadows. These are, um, I just threw these in here because these are in my project 10 uses. If I get to them, I get to them, but, um, I just didn't have anywhere else to put them at the time. So, um, I may actually use those in this week. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. And my lippies, I am ahead of my lippies as well, which is kind of cool. I only have six lip products left for the month of, I pulled 31 at, for the whole month because it's 31 days and I'm down to six, which is kind of cool. And um, I filmed this a day early, so yeah, I'm technically ahead. All right, if I could hold on to them, I have four of the Buxom lip glosses. I have Dolly, which I've already used another one, just, you know, cause I'm testing to make sure that they're still okay. Same with Cherry Flip. Um, these I have not used in this round, but I have used those colors already this month. Um, this one is Holly, which is so appropriately named. It's like a Christmas color. And this one is Claire. I have a feeling me and Claire, we're going to get along real nice. And I already know Dolly. I like Dolly. Um, all right. Buxom Liquid Lip. This one is in Lover. What a name. So I'll be using that. And of course, this one from Tarte, which would actually kind of, 
kind of match what I'm wearing today if my camera color would adjust. So maybe when I reapply, maybe I'll reapply that one. So that is everything for this makeup basket. It was a little bit here, there, and everywhere, scatterbrained, much like myself, because, you know, that's how I roll. But again, um, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is. And I wanted to, like I said, let you know about Judy's business, her Instagram page. Check her out. Definitely check her out because she does really good work. Like the amount of fragrance just in this package, it's amazing. And I'm sure the scent throw, once I'm actually burning it, is going to be just off the hook. So, all right. I'm going to wrap this up because it's time to feed my family some lunch. I think their episode of The Mandalorian is done. So, you know, got to feed the, got to feed the fam. All right. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.